Valentine's is all about love and, and being together. So you know I have some really good recommendations. <laughs> people and welcome back to my channel it's just how are you going what's up what's the scene so you know Valentine's is right around the corner and you know you'll have some good recommendations because Valentine's is all about love and, and being together so you know I have some really wonderful juicy spicy books to read on Valentine's Day or you know what you can do it like me and just read it before these two books played with my heart it filled my mind it filled everything these two books had me on an emotional roller coaster they are really great stories they are written by black authors and you know it's black history month and we're all about supporting black authors in this community uh, these books y'all they are marvelous they are phenomenal. They are fantastic. They are page turners. They are compelling. It's amazing. You need to get your hands on it. You know, try to read these books. Maybe the day before Valentine's Day, on Valentine's Day. Whatever you want to do, you do you boo. So I have Unrequited by Tia Sira. And I have Need You By Me, written by India Carter. Yo. I don't know which book to start with first, but they were both really, really well written. Like, I found no fault with them. They are all five. Like, I give them five stars. These two books right here is just what you need for a Valentine's Day. Unrequited is book two in the Surrender series, and it follows Fatima and Quinton. So, I mentioned Broken in a previous video. It's one of my favorite books. And it's one of my favorite interracial books and I think this one this one is definitely going to be another favorite of mine because Fatima and Quentin's relationship it is everything you expected it would be because in book one you got a hint that they were together at some point in time but you know what in book two listen you got everything in this book so Fatima and Quinton, they have like history together because I don't really want to say too much about the story, but they have history together. They were together in their teens. They were really good friends. They decided to, you know, friends to lovers, you know, they made that transition, but something happened. It had like a big secret and Quinton felt he couldn't tell Fatima the secret. And because of that, their relationship ended. And they moved on they graduated high school and that was that until nine years later hey they bounced back up and you know what sparks start flying because they both loved each other after nine years yes Quinton got married and all of that but that don't stop nobody right it don't stop no one and it certainly did not stop Quinton from doing what he had to do because he knew nine years ago he made a mistake and he was not going to do it again he knew that he knew that and I really like that about Quinton. They both went through so much. They had so many challenges that they faced. And you know what? They survived it. They got there happily ever after. It's so good. You're going to sit down and read the first page. And then you're going to read the second page, the third page. Until you know what? You devoured that book. You know I only talk about the best. You know I only recommend the best. So if I'm telling you it's good, it's because it's good. Right? So read it. Listen, oh God, need you by me. Need You By Me, written by India Carter. Oh my God. Like I totally was not prepared for this story. Like I knew it would be good. And I did mention in my TBR that I've never read any book with any sort of like religious kind of theme book, but, but it was good. It surprised me like Jamie and Marshall's relationship. Like, I wasn't expecting that, to be honest. It blew me away. You're going to get, like, everything you want in a really good book. Uh, it's not an interracial book, no, baby. It's all about black love. Jamie, she, she grew up in a very religious household. And her parents, number one, her mother, we're not even going to talk about that. We're not even going to talk about that. Her father, he's so controlling. Like, he wants to dictate every single thing in this woman's life 
and her best friend like in the beginning I hated her best friend Amika but Amika is okay she had Jamie's back Jamie is this black sexy chocolate she has the curves in all the right places the church that she goes to the older women in the church are very no, I don't want I don't want to talk about that but anyway anyway anyhow Jamie's dad is so controlling that he dictates where he wants her to live he pays the rent for her so she has to live there he gives her spending money and she has to make this amount of money last for this amount of time like I'm talking about this is a 26 year old so her father lets her move in with this guy named Marshall he's a deacon in the church they have been roommates for a number of years and then all of a sudden boom bang bang you know they notice one another like initially Jamie used to flirt with him but he's like no I'm not all about this plus he had a girlfriend Liana oh god don't get me started on Liana don't get me started on Liana because listen if this character was real I might hold on to this woman right I might hold on to this woman I couldn't stand her at all but anyhow back to the story so they notice one another they start to hook up like let me tell you Marshall he put up a good fight he was able to resist temptation right he was able to but Jamie Jamie wasn't having that Jamie put on some a class kind of game and break down that wall they got together I'm talking about the book too much I've given out too much of this book no you have to read the rest sorry but I'm not telling you the rest but just know that the father was a major obstacle Jamie's father was an obstacle Deacon's father was an obstacle Deacon's girlfriend Liana she was an obstacle and don't even talk about Jamie so-called friend nah it's not no friend but she wants to put Jamie up to some kind of thing and I'm like I not really a friend you but anyhow these two books like when you read it I ain't gonna lie you might cry because it had some parts in this book the girl I did tear up like I had a little, little tissue and you know pat dry and stuff like that like it was so emotional knowing what Fatima and Quinta had to go through to get there happily ever after and what Marshall and Jamie had to go through to get there happily ever after like and to know to know it's family doing it to you, you know it's not a stranger that you know created all this drama and back and out it was their own family and, and that's the thing that's the thing that hurt me right that real hurt me sometimes I get so involved in these books it's like these people like I know them I feel as though I know them after reading the story so like I really felt it for Jamie and the relationship that she had with her dad but oh my god don't even talk about Fatima like I really felt it for this girl but anyhow we don't want to get too emotional here uh, so yeah you want something nice to read something really emotional something that when these couples finally make it through and you sigh and you're like yes these are the books for you these are the books that you have to read so I hope you guys have a very great Valentine's Day I probably might be you know sipping on something and relaxing myself chilling and obviously enjoying a good book so don't forget to like subscribe hit that notification bell so you'll know every time I post a video and share my video and don't forget to drop a comment see you until i post another video